Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. Judging by the feedback on the previous episode, you guys enjoy that I'm playing three games an episode rather than two. However, some of you left some interesting comments saying I should sim one of the three games to see how good the team is, how good we are tactically, so it's not just purely down to my ability. And I do agree, it's going to make it a little bit more interesting if we have to sim one game every episode and play two. Now, as you can see, we're going to play against Sassuolo away, Kievo away and Lazio at home. I'm definitely going to play the Lazio game and when it comes to Sassuolo and Kievo, Seeing that we've only had two days of rest and I'm going to use a second string team against Sassuolo, I'd rather not play that game and get it out of the way. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of that Sassuolo game because the team I've put out there is not looking too great. I mean, Balotelli and Luis Adriano up front is pretty decent. But Calabria, Mauri, Kuchka, Nocerino, Antonelli, Maxez, Alex, it's not a strong side. I'm not feeling up for it to play that game. Even if we don't win, you know, we've got a six-point lead on Juve. As long as we win the two games after that, we should be bang on in the title race. We're on our way to win the title, which is awesome to see in our first season. Balotelli giving us the lead. Do you guys think we can do it? We're nearing the end of the season. Can I hold off Juve in the title race and win the title and qualify, of course, for the Champions League next season? I'm already looking forward to that. Um, we're making it 2-0, by the way. Luis Adriano, 3-0. Balotelli again. And that's an interesting thought because Balotelli is a lone player. I'm still debating whether I should bring him back or not next season with the addition of Pato. You know, when the time's right, I'll let you guys know because we have a lot of questions that need to be answered in uh, the upcoming episodes. The questions like, do I bring back El Sharawi or do I sell him, loan him out? Do I bring back Balotelli and sell a different striker? Do I bring in another centre-back? I've been thinking about this series and what I want to do next season. I don't want you to answer me just yet because we've got a couple of episodes to go until the end of the season. But if you can put your thought into that for now, then uh, that would be interesting because we've got still a while to go. With 10 games remaining in the season, Juve have dropped points. They drew 1-1 away from home against Atalanta. That means that 8-point gap looks to be very difficult for them to bring back in 10 games. Although it could still happen, if we keep winning our games, we are going to win the title. We're having a good run of games lately, so I'm going to pick the players that are currently in form. That means Alex and Maxez are going to start at the back. Romagnoli is out of form. Balotelli is coming in for Menez. It's a bit of a weird lineup, but I want to play the players that are in decent form so we can get the win as we are currently the league leaders. And we cannot afford to slip up now, especially against Kievo. We need to win that one. A booking for Alessandro Gamberini and a free kick from 26 yards for Hakan Chalhanolu. This should be easy. Oh, what a save! Look at this. Hakan curls it up and over the wall. It's going in the corner, but the keeper, credit where is you. That was a fantastic save. It's well played here. Pelissier looking for the man there, and it's it's a penalty. It's a penalty. I was going to say we got away with it, but no, Philippe Mexes gives away the penalty. To be fair, if he didn't make the foul, it was going to be a goal. So I, I'm actually glad he took him out. It's not even a red. But Pelissier can now score from the spot 35 minutes into the game. Kievo take the lead. Good penalty, bottom corner. I'll be honest, they've been passing it around the back. It's the first time they genuinely attacked and then make it count. Adriano, Bonaventura. Bonaventura into Carlos Baca. Well played. Carlos Baca finesse shot. Good save again. All right, guys, it's half time. Not a good half for us so far. I'm not playing well. I'm going to put the blame on myself here because the team is actually pretty decent. You know, we had a couple of chances. They only had their real one chance where they hit the post and the penalty came from that and they scored. But I'd say we had more chances in general. If the luck is on our side in the second half, I still believe we can turn this around. Ignacio Abate down the wing, well played. He's going to look for Carlos Baca in the area. Carlos Baca can take a shot. Maybe? No? Abate once again going to look for the cross to Carlos Baca in the middle. Carlos Baca! Good save by the keeper. I'm not creating any chances from... Uh, playing good football through the centre. I'm, I'm re resorting to crosses because there's literally nothing else I can do. Adriano wins that. Balotelli on the turn. And still, we can't score. 20 minutes to go. Still 1-0 down. They're making a double substitution. Hakan Chalhanoglu and Luis Adriano are coming off for Jeremy Menez and Andrea Bertolacci. Hopefully these two can bring a bit more pace up front and will actually create something other than some headers or crosses. Bertolacci into Menez. Menez trying to go for Baca. He goes through. Menez still going. It's going to play through Balotelli. Mario Balotelli. What a block. It's always something. I just I can't score. I, I've accepted my faith. 
Abate cutting inside this time. Well played. Here we go. Into Bertolacci. Andrea Bertolacci. Shot gets blocked. We've got a corner. We're all over them. It's just a matter of whether we can score or not. I'm going to go for Baca on the front post. No, it's going to go to De Jong instead. But Baca is the one who picks it up. Baca. Cross it in. It's decent, but the keeper is going to claim that all day long. And that's the end of the game. Unbelievable how we lost this game. We played well. We got chances. But we just couldn't score. And I'll need to work on that in the next game because... Maybe it's the title stress. Maybe it's the fact that we're so close to the league title that we just can't score and, and we're playing stressed. We're approaching the game against Lazio. We're going to do a final training session and then take a look at the messages because I saw we got an injury in there. That could be bad news. Is everything going to go wrong in the final stretch of the season? I hope not because we've had such an awesome season. And injuries and, and just losing games like this could potentially ruin it all. Who is it going to be? Luis Adriano, arguably my best striker, is out for four weeks. He was the one banging in the goals. And now he's unfortunately gone. But we get another striker in return. And Bayern Niang is back fit. And so is Andrea Poli. So not, not all is too bad here. It's time to play against Lazio. And it's time to settle our nerves. Yes, we are on our way to win the title. And we lost that game, but Juve have also lost another game because we're still 8 points ahead of them with 29 games played. So even they are struggling, and that is good for us. We can recover now against Lazio at the San Siro, the first home game of this episode. I'm expecting 3 points. It's time to play against Lazio once again. I'm going for a pretty rotated side. Romagnoli is coming back. Chalhanolu is moving up to the camera. Menez is replacing the injured Luis Adriano up front. I'm changing the side up quite a bit because... For some reason, we can't perform consistently well in every area of the pitch. So that's why I've made a change in every department. Up front, midfield and in defence. Hopefully this is enough to beat Lazio at home. We've got a corner here. Romagnoli's on the front post. I'm going to try and find him. It's a good ball. Romagnoli can't win the header. Abate picks up the pieces. Takes some weird touches. He's got a bang one on his left foot. Good save by Federico Marchetti. This time I'm going to look for Carlos Baca, triple tap front post, if he can get there fast enough. No, it's going to be Chalhanolu instead, but Marchetti again, saving the day. Going to go for Nigel de Jong this time, but it's going to go to Chalhanolu instead. He wins the header out wide to Bonaventura. Bonaventura crosses it in, Carlos Baca on the back post, and this time it is ruled out for offside. I was going to say, brilliant goal Baca, unfortunately offside. Oh, it's literally an inch. It's just an inch. Unlucky Carlos, that was a great header, by the way. De Jong needs to get there. Mauri into Djordjevic. Good save by Diego Lopez. First time he's been called upon action. Once again, like the game against Kievo, we were in control of the game. We just couldn't score early on, and now they got their chance. And there we go, half-time, nil-nil. Uh, once again, playing good football. Chance after chance, but you saw early on with the corners. Marchetti was unbeatable at times, and then we got a goal ruled out for offside. They only had their one shot that was pretty weak, not troubling Diego Lopez at all. I'm going to keep the team the same. I'm not changing anything for now. Going for it now. They're really going for it. Lazio with Basta into Mauri off the post. Offside, but jeez, how did that not go in? Also well played Basta into Ravel Morrison and we're 1-0 down. How is this possible? The last 10 minutes they start attacking and we just crumble. We completely crumble at the back. Decilio has to mark... Two attackers, that's just unacceptable. He can't take them both. Great finish by Morrison, I have to give him that. And we're 1-0 down, just like that. Baca into De Silio. De Silio, we've got people in the box, but they're not the strongest headers, so I'm going to turn inside, try and pass it off. Is there someone that just wants to score a goal for me, maybe? I'd appreciate it, really. No, 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 that's a foul ref. Surely that's a foul. What a save by Diego Lopez. What's going on? I'm going 4-3-3 attack. Balotelli, Cherchi and Nian coming on. Three forwards. I'm going for it. We need to salvage a point at least. I just, I can't, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. My team just, they're, they're, they act like a bunch of retards. All right. Romagnoli heads it backwards. That's why they got possession of the ball. Just a, a simple cross into the area. Abate sticks his foot out as if he's allergic to the ball. He doesn't dare to touch it and close the heads home for 2-0. Oh, Nigel De Jong, you could have easily gotten the tackle in there, mate. Uh, same for De Silio. Just make the tackles do something. Make yourself useful. Un unbelievable. Just genuinely unbelievable. Th 
I can take losing against Kievo the way we did because we dominated them. And yes, we were good in the first half here, but that second half was pathetic. We deserve to lose that one, and I don't understand why we just switched off like that. It's like, oh, we're in the title race. Let's just fucking do nothing about it. Let's just, you know, roll over and give it to Juve. Oh, yay, another training injury coming up. Good news, maybe. Nigel de Jong is out for two months. My best midfielder is out. So, yeah, it's not going well. Everything is going against me right now. I just, I don't know what to do. And you know what the shocking thing about today's episode is where we lost two games in a row? Juve have done exactly the same. They lost 2-0, the derby against Torino. And then they lost 1-0 against Sassuolo at home. Which is just, I, I can't understand why. Maybe it's because both teams are struggling with the pressure of being in the title race. It's a two-horse race. But the two horses are not going forward. They're standing still. Uh, that's the way I describe this. So somehow... We haven't lost anything yet. I mean, we lost two games, but the situation has not changed at all for us. With eight games to go, having an eight-point lead on second should be enough. I hope it's enough. If you think it's enough, let me know in the comments down below. Are we going to win the title, even though we're losing games left, right and centre? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.